to do a mini vlog for you guys to show you what we've had done in our bathroom because I've been banging on about it for ages um, since we started YouTube that we're going to get our bathroom updated, which we finally have now. I'll show you photos of what it looked like before in a minute, but we are just, well, when I say we, me and Imogen, are just having a little snack circle with the toys at the moment. I'll flip the camera around and show you and show you what little snacks we're having. We're watching Teletubbies as well. And then I'll probably put something on later on. But yeah, I want to show you guys the bathroom. It looks so much better now. We've gone for the same colour scheme. So we've gone for grey again. So we've gone for light grey, dark grey. But just the finish and the job that's done on this one is so much better. Um, like with the grouting and everything and how it's all lined up. Because our bathroom looks so like odd before. Because our house is like over 200 years old. So, you know, you need like a good job done on it. So here we are in our circle. Imogen's tipped his snacks everywhere. We're watching Teletubbies. And then we got a little toys around us in a little circle. And then I've just got some roasted cauliflower. I did have some chopped up strawberries as well. Imogen's got chopped up strawberries and she's got some crisps. But she's thrown it everywhere. She wants to play with my toe. Mummy's got a bruised toe. Remember when daddy ran it over when we were getting tiles by accident? And there's her other little toy. <laughs> so I'll just show you the photos here of her old bathroom. It didn't look terrible. But when you look closer, you can see, like, what he'd done. And, like, it just wasn't good. It just wasn't really a good job. wasn't good finish. We did get the money back on the job. But he also had cracked tiles on the floor. And he cracked our bath as well. So it's, like, you know, terrible, terrible workmanship, should I say. But, yeah, I'll just show you the photos here. And then, later on, I'll show you what my bathroom looks like. So food-wise today, I'm just trying to use things up before we go food shopping again. And then in a couple of weeks' time, we go on holiday, so we just want to use everything up. We're trying to use the freezer up and all that sort of thing. And with pennies being tight, with all the, you know, price increases, I'm just really trying to make food spread across the week. Um, so I'm not necessarily eating keto all the time at the moment. I'm pretty much low-carb and, that, you know, as much as I would love to be eating all these carbs, it'd be totally fine. I just can't. They just don't agree with me, unfortunately. I just, you know, I could just eat rice every day, for instance, but it would just make me feel so terrible. Not just, like, you know, with sleep and stuff, but physically. I, it's almost like as if I get IBS symptoms. It's, it's it's really strange. I don't suffer with IBS, but when I eat those sort of foods, starchy, carby foods, it just makes me feel like crap. But it doesn't mean I like a treat now and again. So I'll just show you guys what I'm making. There's a lady in work that always brings in rhubarb, and she grows such amazing rhubarb. So... I'll just show you what I'm making now. So I'm just making some um, rhubarb and honey. I don't know what it's called. Like a, I don't know, it's like a fruit paste thing. I can't think what the word is. But yeah, I'm just mixing this all up. I need to clean my kitchen. I know I've got like a dirty hob at the moment because I did do some scrambled eggs which stuck to my pan. We need to get new pans. I can't think what it's called, but you know like when you make a, uh, what's it called? Like a fruit crumble. It's like the mixture, but I can't think what it's called. But yeah, I'm just doing that. So that's going to be like a nice treat. And then in my slow cooker, I just need to mix it. I'm making a sausage casserole. So probably going to have this for tea. This is um, definitely low carb because it's just got mushrooms, onions, peppers. And then there's my sausage, which I'm trying to cook. And then it's just got like some, it's just got like a herb packet. So it's not keto friendly because there might be stuff in the herb packet, which increases is the carb content but then if you're looking at portion sizes it's going to be really low carb so I'm making this because i had some mushrooms left over from tea last night because we had like a chicken broccoli mushroom cheese bake which is really nice and that was definitely keto friendly because that had cheese and all that sort of stuff in so today is another day we're in our little summer clothes and we go there's imogen mm -hmm. who's that that's you i'm just finishing off breakfast I did a workout this morning, it was quite good. Oh, uh -huh, you waving. And I'm having, it's called Apple Birch and Muesli. It's from the Body Coach app. It's like a refuel meal. It's got like oats, apple, cinnamon, yogurt. It's got apple juice in, but I don't stock apple juice. So I just blended like an apple with some water to make it like a bit wet. Because it was like a little bit juicy, honestly. Um, it had dried cranberries in. It also had some, well, it didn't, on the recipe, it didn't have lemon juice, but I added some lemon juice just to kind of make it a little bit watery so it can absorb like the protein powder and stuff. I used vanilla protein powder. 
and all that sort of stuff. So it was nice, but it was just total faff. Everything was going wrong. I was grating apple everywhere. I spilt some when I came in to go come and check on Imogen. So it just, breakfast was a bit of a miss. Really nice, but it just, it was faff. But anyway, it's such a lovely day. Imogen's due a nap, so I think she's gonna have a nap first. It's like 21 degrees, it's so hot. And then we're gonna go out on her trikey. I'll just show her you her little trikey. So that's a little trikey that she goes on. And she absolutely loves it. So I don't like to take her in it when she's tired because I don't want to fall asleep in that position. But I'll show you later when she's um, woken up and when we go out for, for a walk. So you can see what she looks like and she really loves it. She is all ready to go for a walk. Where's Dolly? Where's Dolly? There she is. This is what we like to do in the walk. She touches the grass. Go wee! Go on then, Imogen, touch the grass. Wee! Wee! Touch the grass. Wee! I've seen us just stinging out, so we have to sort of avoid those, don't we? You're having fun. You're having fun, baby. <laughs> this dolly having fun. Oh, you're gonna leave your hat on. You're gonna leave your hat on. So this is our brand new bathroom. So we went for a different shape. We went for an owl-shaped bath. And um, the obvious thing is we haven't had the ceiling done yet, so we need to paint and fill in the gaps there. But we have brand new tiles. We went with the same grey theme. So we had duck on the floor and then lighter on the walls. And the finish on this is so much better. We've had it tiled to the floor. On the old one, we had the old bathroom. We had, um, what's it called? We had the skirting board along the sides. And one of the main differences as well is that we've got the sink and the toilet. So it fits to the wall rather than having like all the piping out and all that sort of thing. And we just, we love it. It just looks so much better. So it's given us the um, kick up the bum now to start doing other parts of the house, which we need to just start with the bathroom first, you know, start from the top and then work our way down. But we absolutely love it. We even love the shower screen. <laughs> Nothing fancy, but it's, it's it works for us. We love it. And that's the only um, thing we, we've recently had done. We're waiting now, it's going to be a few weeks I think, until we start getting the floors done in the front room and the dining room and the hallway. I'll show you what I mean. So the hallway, we're going to get done because it's all warped, so the insurance are going to do that. Blue's just hanging around on that bag. And then in the front room, dining room, so that's like the dining room, we've just got loads of stuff in it, and then obviously front room. But it's a total mess at the moment because I've just finished work and Imogen's been playing and napping but yeah it's quite a big space to actually do but they're going to come and pull up the floors and then we've got to pick colours that we want because you can see it's like a dark oak colour but that'd be really exciting and then tomorrow um tomorrow we're going to inquire about the garden because the way the garden is at the moment we've got like a patio that goes well you go out the back door we've got patio and then there's like a really horrible old-fashioned wall that's like cut in between the patio and the grass bit and then at the very back is like a driveway that we need to open up we haven't done anything on the garden yet we used to do loads of deweed in but there are all the house things coming up so i just wanted to do a little mini vlog of my little house update tea tonight imogen's just got chicken and baked beans haven't you baby and she's trying to practice using her cutlery so it's like a spork thing but I normally, I put some stuff on there to help her, but I think she's just using her hands at the moment. I'm going to have, um, me and Dan are going to have fish and vegetables for tea. I just need to work out first. But she hasn't been very well in the week. Her appetite hasn't been great. So um, I'm just trying to keep meal times simple just to get back into the full swing of having full meals. But generally, she tends to eat low carb. When she's with other people, it's just sort of whatever they give them. So when she's with her nannies and nanas, they like to spoil her with treats. But yeah, we're very much, me and Imogen anyway, trying to be low carb. Um, and Dan just isn't any of those. He just loves bread, doesn't he? Daddy loves bread and all those good things. 
So I'm going to end the vlog here. Like I said, it's just a little mini one. Uh, next week we're going on holiday, so I don't think I'm going to be uploading. But I know the Crave Kit has been dispatched and the little 10 out of 10 snacks box from Crave Kit. So that'll probably be my next video. I don't know. It's probably won't come until next week, I wouldn't have thought. But I'm not here, so I don't know what they're going to do with it. Unless they just put it next door. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, so I'm going on holiday next week and then I will post afterwards. And then hopefully I should have something for Well Easy UK as well because I finally sorted out my subscription there because I had such a problem getting in contact with them for some reason. I don't know why, but it's taken me like months just to try and sort out a login so I can start ordering off Well Easy and trying some more products on the channel for you guys. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video, probably after my holiday.